Creed BBS, BBS, Black Burnt Sugar, Bachelors in Boxing Studies, Television, Fred Sanford of the Fistic Arts. Oh, Triple G, oh, Triple G, your career's progressed unambitiously. And with that said, Triple G, Gennady, Gennadyevich, Golovkin returns to the ring tonight on the zone against Camille Zerometa. Apologies in advance if I'm butchering that last name. Zerometa. Golovkin, 40 wins, one loss, one draw, 35 by KO. <clears throat> Excuse me, Zerometa, 21 wins, no losses, five KOs. I repeat, 21 wins, no losses. Five motherfucking KOs. And for what it's worth, for what it's worth, Zero Meta is ranked number three at 160 pounds in Poland. He's he's the he's top three among Polish middleweights. So yeah, he's uh challenging Triple G tonight on the zone. Now Triple G, unquestionably one of the ten best fighters of the last decade. No question about it. Making his 21st defense of a middleweight title. Big drama show. Big drama show. I love watching Triple G fight. I mean, who doesn't? Who doesn't love watching the man fight? But as I stated in my last Triple G video about seven months ago, a link to which is in the description box of this video if you want to check it out. Uh, it's alarming how unambitious Triple, Triple G has been in his career. It's alarming. This dude wasted 39 months, literally, treading water against subpar opposition, waiting for money fights with Miguel Cotto and then Canelo Alvarez. In the interim, uh, we were beaten over the head with urban legend of his sparring exploits, having his way with light heavyweights, but simultaneously, he couldn't be bothered to entertain a run at 68 as he waited for Canelo and uh, Cotto. And now it's all a moot fucking point because Triple G's 38 years old. He's definitely seen better days. Now he has, uh, as you can see in the uh, cover photo of this video, he appears to be in fantastic shape. And Jonathan Banks is a good, capable trainer. Uh, and with that said, I don't believe it's a coincidence at all that Triple G is fighting on the eve of Canelo Alvarez versus Callum Smith, which is, of course, tomorrow. That, that's not a coincidence at all. Faux show. Sure. Doesn't mean they'll fight next, but that means that it will certainly be offered next. It'll certainly be uh, in the in the works, in the in in the zone plans for a certain. <laughs> Speaking of Triple G, uh, De La Hoya, among other retired legends who kind of felt that itch again upon seeing Mike Tyson workout mid-work videos. De La Hoya had mentioned in an interview something to the effect of, do you know how easy of a fight Triple G would be for me? Well, Triple G responded, if I got an opportunity to legally kill a person in the ring, I might seize it. In response to De La Hoya, Woo big drama show. Ho, ho, ho. Okay. Here's the thing, man, you know, I'm not terribly optimistic about Triple G's future, but I'll watch and see what happens, like I'll do tonight. Read BBS, BBS, Blackbird Sugar, Bachelors in Boxing Studies, Television, Fred Sanford of the Fistic Arts. When all is said and done, there's nothing left to say or do.